is up you guys Kiana Jane here welcome back to my youtube channel if you haven't already please be sure to subscribe we are almost at 9,000 subscribers today's video is going to be another fragrance video but it's going to be spring inspired now I did one previously here on my channel for the fall I believe I'll link it somewhere on the screen if you want you can go ahead and watch that and those scents were basically more warm the fragrances i'm going to show you in this video are going to be more floral more lighter more just perfect for spring before we get into these fragrances you guys today's video is sponsored by anna louisa thank you so much anna louisa for sponsoring my video they are a jewelry company that really cares about the environment so they are 100 percent carbon neutral anna louisa was kind enough to send me three pieces and i am so excited to show you them you guys because i literally can see my Myself wearing these pieces like on a day-to-day -day basis no cap so my jewelry came in this petite little box and Louisa is like exceptional when it comes to like using just enough they don't use too much cardboard and stuff like that to add on to our environmental issues which I absolutely love so your jewelry is gonna come in one of these little velvet baggies and it has their branding on the front which is really really cute from the last batch that they sent me I actually keep these little baggies and put like other jewelry or put their jewelry back in here once I'm finished with it now when I shop for jewelry I prefer very small very dainty pieces that's why these earrings are literally perfect you guys i'm gonna link all the links down below in the description box but with their jewelry you just know that it's not gonna rust they have exceptional quality and you can probably pick something up for your mother because their mother's day sale is coming up and i do have a coupon code for you guys it's going to be 15 percent off i'm either going to link it down on the screen or i'm going to link it down below in the description box if you didn't want to get something for yourself you wanted to get something for your mom and you don't really want to break the bank they do have pieces ranging from like 39 dollars to more so higher end prices i don't want to say like a higher end price because i don't want you guys to quote me and i get it wrong but they do have affordable pieces as well as higher end pieces go ahead and head down to my description box after this video but without further ado we're gonna get right into these spring fragrances okay guys so i'm not going to be showing you these fragrances in any particular order i'm literally just going to show them to you and kind of explain to you how I think they smell, and who they're like perfect or geared toward in my opinion. Starting off with Miss Dior Roses and Roses. Now, this perfume was a gift and I definitely feel that this is more for like an older woman. Now, it's slightly like musky, but oh, let me smell this again because I feel like I want to give you guys like an accurate... Okay. So it's definitely florally, florally, if that's the word. Definitely smells like a bouquet of roses or a bouquet of flowers in general. But I definitely think a little bit goes a long way with this. Um, like I said, it does have like a muskiness to it, but more of like a floral muskiness. It is a classic floral, so that's what they classified it as. Their keynote, rose, Italian mandarin, and white musk oak. Blah, blah, blah. white musk accord so like i said it's definitely musky but it's like a florally musky um when i think of this like i said before i definitely think it's more of a mature fragrance um i actually like another scent from miss dior i think it's just miss dior straight like it's not roses and roses or any other name it's just like miss dior by dior that smells amazing and i feel like that's definitely like another spring fragrance i don't personally own it i have smelt it before um but i would prefer misty or for more of like a younger woman over roses and roses next up on my list is mademoiselle coco chanel now this perfume has been around for ages i literally remember going to high school wearing my mother's coco mademoiselle you guys this stuff ugh, smells amazing to me personally this is my favorite chanel fragrance i think i can stand on that and say that pretty confidently it definitely smells florally once again we're in spring so i feel like this is like the perfect time to bring out your more florally flowery scents chanel coco mademoiselle is definitely more so i feel like it's slightly warm and i absolutely love warm fragrances that's probably why i love this fragrance so much but it's not too warm as to where you can't wear it like in the spring and summer months. It says that the key notes in this fragrance is orange and jasmine. 
and the fragrance family is floral once again so you definitely smell the jasmine in here and i think that's where the warmness is coming from um i love this fragrance i'll wear this fragrance to brunch think day party think afternoon this is definitely like an afternoon fragrance you could get away with this at night too, so I guess it is pretty versatile, but when I think about it, I just think of like, I'm in the day, I'm going out with my girls, I feel like it's definitely like brunch worthy. So, Coco Chanel, Mademoiselle, buy this one. I would buy this one over Roses and Roses by Dior, the last fragrance I just told you guys about. I would definitely prefer this one over that one, so. Next up, you guys, we have a banger in my book. This perfume is like a hit, no misses at all. This is Victor and Rolf Magic Liquid Diamonds. Now, you guys, Victor and Rolf is known for Flower Bomb. I'm tired of smelling Flower Bomb. It's a it, it's a nice fragrance, but I'm just tired of it. I feel like it's overdone. I feel like everyone smells like that. So when I went in to buy YSL Libre, which was in my fall fragrance video this smells like the spring version of YSL Libre now if you smell that fragrance you know exactly what I'm talking about but just think just think like a YSL Libre without so much warmness this is so crisp I feel like it's perfect for the spring like you could even wear this in the summer you could definitely wear this in the summer that's how crisp this fragrance is now it is a I think this is an EDP um, meaning it is going to be more on the stronger side it's going to have more oil and it's going to last longer for Victor and Rolf magic liquid diamonds it says that the top notes are floral bouquet accord and the bottom note is ultra clean accord now like I said it does Lola it definitely smells really crisp so you have a crispy floral smell when you wear this perfume this perfume I don't think is too popular which I absolutely love because it smells so good but not everybody smells like it um you can switch this up and wear it in the day and wear it at night um it does have like a muskiness to it but like a crisp musky don't think warm musky is definitely on the lighter side the bottle is also really cute i don't know if you can tell but it looks like there's little bubbles in here i don't really know how to explain it um i think their magic collection all the bottles look like this but i'm not 100 percent sure now i think i paid 145 dollars for this i'm not going to be saying the prices with all the perfumes because i re really can't remember but i do think i paid um about 150 145 dollars for this perfume next on my fragrance list for spring is dolce and gabbana light blue this fragrance is this is like an og fragrance to me um if you're into fragrances and perfumes you definitely know about this fragrance this fragrance like the coco chanel mademoiselle has been around literally for ages um i actually first smelled this on my mom and I just fell in love with it I guess because I was around it so much but she used to wear this like on vacation or in like the summer months she would definitely always have one Dolce & Gabbana light blue this is more of I want to say a summer fragrance but you can definitely start wearing it in the spring it's very light very crisp it just smells like cool water but like cool pool water not beach water it smells like I want to say like I don't know you guys this one's a little hard to explain because it's definitely not like anything I've worn before um, I feel like this is unisex too so guys you can definitely pull this off they do have an intense though I feel like it became so popular and so many people were wearing it that they did come out with like an intense version because this is like a toilette so yeah I want to explain this for you guys I think it's gonna be easier for me to go into like the notes that they have listed online but you definitely smell a little bit of citrus in here so i think i'm smelling like pear like pears and limes lemons but like a cool water crispness to it i think the crispness is kind of what gives it like a little bit of masculinity the fragrance family is fresh like i said it smells crisp clean like very clean um the scent type is fresh citrus and fruits 
So you dev it's probably like pear in here. It says it says apple and bamboo. So I guess like green apple. I, I definitely get like a green apple from this. Um but this is like perfect for like vacation. I feel like if you're in like a hot, humid kind of environment, you won't get a headache with this perfume. It's like very light. You can even like wear this to the beach, wear this to the pool. Like it's just like a really clean smelling perfume. This is definitely every day too. Like you can probably get away with wearing this to work. Not probably, you can definitely get away with wearing this to work. Um, you could wear this in the day. You can switch it up and wear it at night, can you? I mean, you can. I wouldn't personally wear it at night. Um, I don't feel like it's not strong enough, but it just doesn't give me night. Definitely gives me day vibes. It gives me morning vibes, honestly. <laughs> like morning, afternoon, definitely brunch, definitely lunch with the girls. You can wear Dolce & Gabbana light blue. So I have one more fragrance for you guys and it is Chance by Chanel. Now this is like the pink one. I'm not sure if the green one is called Chance as well, but this is the pink version. This is a EDP. If none of these other fragrances say spring, this will definitely get you in the mood. Like this says spring on so many different levels. I feel like it smells like a big bouquet of flowers, just like the um, Miss Dior Roses and Roses, but it smells like younger flowers, if that makes any sense. I feel like Roses and Roses by Miss Dior smells like older flowers, and this one smells like younger flowers. So your middle schooler could probably wear this if she's in middle school. Your high schooler could definitely pull this off. You could definitely pull this off. I feel like it's very age friendly. Um, you could wear this like throughout your entire life. Now I would have to say that this perfume doesn't go with my natural body oils 100%, but it definitely still smells good and I definitely still wear this. Um, this is just like the queen of spring right here. So in the product details of this fragrance, it says that it's a delicate and unexpected fruity floral fragrance for women, creates a soft whirlwind of happiness, fantasy, and radiance. Now, that doesn't really help me. I kind of want the notes. The key notes in this Chance by Chanel are grapefruit and rose accord. Now, that makes a lot of sense. I don't think grapefruit goes with my natural body odor. Um, not really an odor because I don't stink, but just my natural body makeup. I don't think the grapefruit really complements me too well, but I've smelled this on other people just by like passing by and I know right off the back that it's Chanel Chance and it smells amazing on them. Um, like I said, I do still wear this fragrance. It's probably just the grapefruit that doesn't really complement me 100%, but it complements me like 80% so I can still get away with it. But yeah, you guys, I absolutely love this perfume. It smells like the queen of spring literally so that is it you guys for my spring fragrances i showed you guys five of the fragrances that i'll definitely be rocking this spring whether i rock some more than the other um please be sure to go ahead and check the description box for links to these fragrances as well as links to anna louise's website if you haven't already please be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big fat thumbs up if you're wearing any of these fragrances comment down below if you're going to try any of these or if you have any other other questions I'm here to help thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye